Welcome to Learning Together. Today we are going to learn pivot table and pivot chart in Excel. Look at the data. Can you identify quickly which product is most profitable or which salesperson is the leading seller? In this data, we have salesperson details, mode of sales, endorsement type and the price also. Pivot table helps us to identify such things quickly. Pivot table is a powerful tool to calculate, summarize and analyze the data. If you are watching my channel first time, kindly subscribe to my channel learning together. Let's see how to create pivot table. Select any cell inside the data. Go to insert. Click on pivot table. Dialog box appears. Here you can select the data. That means you can select the table range. By default, it will select the range. You should remember before creating pivot table, the data should not have any empty rows or empty columns. Next, select where you want your pivot table either new worksheet or existing worksheet. I am selecting new worksheet. Click on OK. Now in the new sheet your pivot table In the new sheet, pivot table area appears because we selected new sheet. Now select go to the pivot table fields and all your column fields are appearing here. And select when you click on salesperson, it will come automatically to rows. When you click on values, it will go to the value fields. If you don't want, just drag and drop outside. Now click on salesperson, drag to rows or wherever you want and see the chart area and it is showing now select endorsement type and move to values field now see the table pivot table is showing row wise the salesperson details and columns endorsement type now sort this go to home sort by largest to smallest now ria has sold many insurances that means six insurances so now it is showing maximum to minimum when you double click on that it will show Ria's details what all the policies she has done it will come in new sheet Now right click count of endorsement and summarize the values by sum. This is just endorsement type so it is showing zero value. So I don't want that so I am taking the count only. So Rhea has done six endorsements and Hetana has done four. Now we will see with the price. Hetana has done the endorsement policies worth of Policies are 4 and the value is it will change now see count of price is there right click on that summarize values and click on some it will show the worth how much worth of policy she has told you will get it. Now again start it to the maximum to minimum. So Kiran has sold maximum policies like maximum worth of the policies Kiran has sold. Now select the endorsement. See under K 
Kiran. Now endorsement types are coming like policy extension and runoff. So it will come under that. If you don't want just to drag that field and change into the columns. So in the column fields, it will expand. Example, Kiran, you can see policy extensions and separate, separate, it is showing. Now I changed endorsement type to the filter. So you can filter. filter. Now I selected policy cancellation, next policy extension. So policy extension move all done, it will show. Now run off. Run off only Kiran and another person has done. Only two people have sold that. So in this way, you can just drag the fields according to the, your requirement. Now I just selected salesperson and value of the endorsement type. Now we will see the pivot chart. Go to analyze, click on pivot chart. Select any type of the chart. I am selecting bar graph. Click on OK. Now here it is showing small, smallest to largest. So just right click on that, sort, select smallest to largest. It will change. And you can delete the salesperson, sum of price and everything you can delete so that the chart will look clearly. So right click. Right click on the sum of price and hide. Click on hide. Same like for salesperson also hide. You can delete the total also. Now give chart name. We are calculating the price as per salesperson. So now change to price. I am renaming the sheet name. Copy the sheet because they already we are formatted so we can copy just hold the control key and drag the sheet so the sheet same will be copied the first sheet I am renaming as price by salesperson now in the second sheet we will do other calculations like the table we will prepare according to the requirement now drag out the salesperson and select endorsement type in the rows so now this will come the sum of the price based on the endorsement type sort the values from maximum to minimum same way change the chart also from maximum to minimum Change the color of the chart. Select any color as per your requirement. Now, title. Change the title. This one we are calculating like endorsement type by price. price by endorsement type change the sheet name also adjust the title rename the sheet name price by endorsement type now again copy this sheet 
hold the control key and drag the sheet so it will get copied to the new sheet now click on the table and change the fields first sheet we have done with the price by salesperson second price by endorsement type and third is now we are going to do now just drag out the sum of price now i am selecting insurance number in a value field so it will show like endorsement type and number of insurances policy cancellations are two policy extensions are eight and it is showing again you will sort here also and at the same time you can change the chart uh, type also as per your requirement so i am changing gear chart to the column chart i'm changing the color you can change the color by right click also now change the chart title here this is policy endorsement i find insurance numbers the chart so count of insurance numbers by endorsement type change the sheet name also in this way you can prepare as per your requirement how many pivot charts you need you can prepare based on your data so now we prepared price by sales person price by endorsement type and number of insurances by endorsement type this is our data always remember your data should not have any empty rows and empty columns now you are having like individual charts in different sheets so if you want to place all the charts in one sheet that is called the dashboard so the dashboard in the next video we will see the dashboard how to prepare the dashboard by using this pivot table charts hope you like this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you